face to face, hands almost touching in the air, buyers and sellers square off in the bull pit of the Ethiopia Commodities Exchange. With each slap, the prices are transmitted to commodity dealers around the world, and farmers get paid the very next day, without losing out to a middleman. The exchange, created in 2008, is the first of its kind on the continent. It contracts commodities such as sesame, haricot beans, and maize. But nothing is as in demand here as coffee. At Tomoka, the city's oldest macchiato den, having quality beans is essential. But it wasn't always easy maintaining quality and price on the cafe's famous beans. Now, Akalu Wobe, who has been working for Tomoka for more than 20 years, gets the beans straight from the exchange. More uh, people are coming to the HX and we get a variety of uh, coffees, different tastes, Kamsa, and we can get a cheaper one because there is a, a competitive for selling and open to sell. Coffee production is critical to the Ethiopian economy. It's the country's top export earner and a quarter of the population depend on its production for their livelihood. The exchange has grown rapidly since its birth, reaching a value of $1.1 billion in 2011. But huge challenges remain. Limited warehouse space has curbed the exchange's capacity for growth, and kinks remain in the supply chain. It's growing, but not too much, because the problem is not effective, not uh, sometimes, uh, not 80%, uh, 70% is good, 30% not quality, sometimes I'm not happy when receiving my goods because not the problem of six, the problem system. Though the first commodities exchange in Africa, Ethiopia has inspired other countries to follow suit. Nigeria, Kenya, Uganda and Zambia, among others, have all found ways to better link their producers with the market. It is my wish to see uh, the major commodities that Africa produces are quoted in an African exchange, which is a possibility. And uh, we long to see that. And the Ethiopia Commodity Exchange would be uh, dedicated towards working this. There is still far to go before realizing an Africa-wide commodities exchange. But each success brings African resources a little more firmly in African hands.